Hello everybody, this is Sonia. I'm um, just going to try and adjust this me zoom to there. Okay. <laughs> okay. We are learning the camera work. <laughs> now, um, I'm going to teach you how to make a spider and a web. How's that sound? Sounds like fun to me. Love to make a spider and a spider web. So I will put it on a twin sheet because I can put him in my work. Um, now I want a piece of stuff for the back. Stuff. That'll be this wadding that I've been using. Uh, you can use interfacing or any sort of other thing that you want. But I'm just going to put some of this behind him because I don't want him to be... Uh, a bit more solid I suppose. I probably didn't cut that big enough so I'm going to cheat and pull it apart a bit. There you go. Right now, yeah, that that'll work, won't it? We're not going to be um, worried because we'll look, it'll look good. It'll look good when we finish. Now, uh, spider web. We will start in a corner if you want to do a web. So because this is um, like, well, it's not very. I suppose we can do it in the corner. We will do it in the corner. Now, we can get lots of different sorts of bits and pieces for this. Um, I will probably, I don't think I want to use that heavy one, but you can buy all sorts of thread. Um, you can buy this really nice silk thread here. And this is made by, this one is a anchor, and it's called Marlet, is the name of the, the thread. And there's 10 metres on here, and this is a... Um, a silk embroidery thread. Oh no, this is rayon, beg your pardon. It's 100% visco rayon. Okay. Um, this is the same. This is a sort of a, a, gold, a silvery sort of tone. And this one here is a anchor one. And this is called... Um, uh, embroidery thread... Uh, <laughs> Okay, so I can't tell you what that is called, but I can tell you that it, what number it is, so you can have a look to see. 300 anchor, and the number is 300. Okay, so it will be this um, sort if you go to look for that. Um, it says LAM, L A M E, LAM, L A M E, as well. That num name's on there too. So I'm going to push that back in there because I don't want to lose that thing. I usually, <laughs> usually have these wrapped up over it. I always, when I roll them, I take the outside and I wrap it. A lot of people write on them what they are, but I've got a lot of these plastic, um, hard plastic uh, spool things, and I, I like to keep mine tucked underneath there. So that's what I'm going to do with this. I tuck him back under there. So... If I need to find another piece, the same, I'll have that. This is actually a piece of thread that you, like a crochet, crochet one that I've just rolled on there. And this one here is DMC. This is another brand that's, um, and it is, this, this is the same sort of thing as that. Um, so, I, DMC, what are we calling it, this one? It doesn't really say, this. It's 5,283, that's the, that's the what's the name of it, and it's a metallic thread, and it's a DMC one, so I think, I think Michelle might have bought me that, I don't know, but anyway, so now I've got a silver one of those, a gold one, and I've got these. Now I'm going to use the metallic one, because I want to today to use the metallic one to make my spiderweb, okay? Now these are pretty easy, spiderwebs, I've already been using some of this, so once I've taken a strand off I'll always roll it back onto there <laughs> you, well my <laughs> hopefully I will always roll it back onto there so you only want one strand of this now um, it may tend it does tend to do a little bit of puckering if you're using it for too long like so you don't want a very large, long piece which I do have here but I might trim it back we'll just see how we go I might have to trim it in cut it in half I think the only thing too with these, they have a tendency to come unthreaded really easy, so you need to be careful when you're doing that. Now I'm going to cut a bit off, which is a shame because I'm going to 
probably lose that bit, but I can use it in something else, okay? So you, your spider web will start in the corner because that's where you want to build your nest, okay? Now, a lot of you people might not want to um, spider web in your work, but, you know, some people do. I will I will put a knot. I will put a knot. Some people said to me they don't not here embroidery. Well, <laughs> you don't have to. It's up to the person. Um... If you like, I said, if you're going to put it in a, any sort of show or anything, you don't do it. So, anyway, it needs to be. Um, I want it to come out this far, say, for example. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just put a long stitch down in there because this is a corner cobweb. Now, you can draw this if you want to on your piece of work or whatever you would like to do. So I'm going to work out now that I probably would need one going that way. <coughs> this is in the shot. of. So we'll put one up here and maybe one up here and that will be enough. Five, okay. So we'll bring this back here a bit, this piece, and we'll take it down in there. Now, I know they're long stitches, but they're not going to be, uh, that's not going to be a worry. So when you come up again to take the next piece out, you best be careful you don't come up through the same hole, otherwise you will make a mistake. Okay, and I'll come back out again. Right -o. So there's that bit there, which probably I could have did that other centre piece a tiny bit longer, but it doesn't matter. The spider was just, you know, he wasn't very... Um, efficient I guess about what he's doing so this one I took out a bit further and that's okay I'm not worried about that I'm happy with that because in the long run it's going to look just like a spider web and it'll be fine I'm going to give another and put another one out here and that is the end of that piece of thread so there we go that's the beginning of the spider web it's really quite easy to do the spider and the spider web so we we'll finish that off there. But actually, you need to really make this not very secure because, like I said, this stuff is a bit flies undone a tiny bit when it like, comes off the needle, and it'll probably come undone. So I'll make a couple of make a couple of knots here to make sure that I've got hold of it. Don't go through to the front of your work. Just get a couple of, there we go. So I've got that. Okay, now I need another piece. Which I had left over, and I'm going to keep the full length of this because I need to um, put the pieces that go across in here, and I want to have enough thread because I don't have to break it off and fix it. Here we go. So we've got that. <coughs> Excuse me. Every time I come on here, my face starts to itch. <laughs> okay, so now we want to put these pieces that go around here, <coughs> so he doesn't look like he's not he's gonna, not going to fall if he's you know. So anyway, you want to come up at the side of this piece of thread, a uh, bit, bit here. And I'm going to go down the other, I'm going to go through to the back because I want it to catch on to it. I want that to catch down, okay. Then I'm going to come up again, the other side, and I'm going to take it across to this one here, okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing there. I'm going to come back up the other way, and I'm going to... You're sort of like you're weaving it, but you're not because you're going to fasten it to the fabric. You want to fasten it to the fabric. You don't want to, it to get away on you. You want it to sit down nicely. So you want to come up the other side and go down over here. Try and keep it as even as you can. But you're going around ish sort of <laughs> way like this to make your spider web. Um... Even when you do that bit, you might think, well, you probably should have put a little bit there, but we'll come back and we'll see, okay? So we'll take it right around to here. I'm really going to lose my thread here. And sorry about that, sniffing. And you don't realise either, I must say, that when you're doing a video, and of course, usually in life we have got situations like we do sniff or we do cough or anything like that, you know, and when you do the video and you, think, you watch it back, you think, oh my goodness, I didn't know I was sniffing. I didn't know I was sniffing. Like, <laughs> didn't know I was scratching so much. It's just all something that comes to us when we go, there's nothing I can do about it because I don't want to edit mine. I don't want to take all that time because it just takes up too much time I, to edit it. I'm not, um, 
lot to do with that. So now I'm going to come around here a little bit further up and do the same thing again. Now I'm going to try and keep it a bit more level than that because see where I've come back away from it? Not happy. I'm going to take that out of him. I'm not going to leave that there. I um, don't like where that come out so just unpull it. Stay. Everybody stay calm and just unpull that. Okay. I don't know if the spider would undo it. He might be able to have a way of fixing it if he was... But I imagine he's very clever and he knows what he's doing. He's doing his spider web. Okay, now we're going to come back here again. Try this time. Try to keep it all the same. Come right close to your thread where you come down. So you're going to get it exactly. But go underneath that bit. Okay. Now, come across here. You probably have to just... You know, use your eye and guide yourself across where you think it needs to go, okay? Keep going around like that. The spider web. A lot of people don't like spiders. No, there's nothing wrong with spiders if they don't bite you. I guess they're okay. I don't think I'd fancy about too close to many big ones, you know. <laughs> but... I really like making the spider webs and the spiders on my embroidery. A lot of a lot of people put a spider web on their embroidery and a spider. Okay, so there we go. How's that looking? Any good? Right over, we'll keep making it then. As long as we're keeping it good. Uh, uh, another one here. Up through there down through there. Now I don't know what else I'd put on this twinchy besides the spider. Um, you know, because in his web, I've got no idea. But I'll figure something out, I guess. Now, that's as far as I'm going to go with that because I guess that's what the look that looks what we're going for today. And I'll just do this a uh, little back stitch here because I want it to stay really good on there so the idea is to act well I'm going to sneak a bit down here what do you reckon I'm going to bit of do extend this how did I do that did I muck that up or what <laughs> oh gracious well it's not too bad though is it just think it's okay anyway um that's how you make your spider web I'm going to take this bit out too I'm going to make this a bit longer. Getting carried away here now. But you can, you have the ability to come back and just, you know, make some parts of it a bit longer. There we go. So how's that? We'll, do, we'll leave that like that so we stop fiddling and we're going to make a spider now. I've got that cord in there. That's not good. Just cut the fluff away. Don't cut the cotton. You can just cut the fluffy part away. There we go. And that will bring me down in through there, so that'll be good. And end that off a few times there, but it'll be not and pull it, but not too hard. You don't want to pull your, your your web out too much. Now, okay, so now we need to put some beads on there for his body, which I'm going to start using some black, I think, because um, well, I will be using black for if I can find. I know I stuck the needle out of the black thread in my finger just a second ago there. Um, because I left the cotton in there and I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so now we're going to use some beads. We need a um, couple of beads and we need a black small one. So I've got a small one and I've got a little bit bigger one. Not very much difference in the size, is there? Uh, right, let me see if I can, if I can fix that. It might just have to be a different colour today. Until we get the right colour. Maybe we could make a pink spider. I don't know. Mightn't be so scary. Or a white one. They might bite harder too, I think. <laughs> we'll do a white spider. If I don't need black thread, I'm just going to put a white spider on here. Uh, so I need two. What I dropped that one. Oh dear me. Oh dear. Come on, Sonia. Stop fiddling about here. We're going to get this done. Here we go. 
Here we are. Probably a little bit better that I'll make it a bit bigger so you can see it anyway. Um, let's see what I'm doing. So I've got some nice bit of thread here that's fairly thick. Now this would look really good with the spider wood on a piece of black, okay? On a piece of black um, velvet, uh, if you're doing a white spider, okay? If you want to do a white spider. Now this is really, really thick thread, this one, and the reason I'm getting that is because I wanted to do the legs with it too so you can see the legs. You can use whatever you want to, like this um, shiny stuff would be really cool. You know, if you're doing it on black, it would come up really good. Now we want to put the spider here somewhere on the web. So we'll um, oh, put a knot in that. And I'm going to put the, this is his back end, this is his body here. This is his body. And the next part will be, of course, his head. And I think we're going to have to put different colour legs on. And there's his body. Really easy made. And I'm going to come back through and go through again just to give him a really good sew down so he doesn't get away.